What is happening on both sides of the Gaza-Israel border looks and feels like war to anyone who has to live with it, no matter what the governments on either side have declared. This is a small taste of what it felt like in Gaza over a 24-hour period. Okay, that is exactly... All right, I'm going to move out of the way. I'm going to let you get a look here. I'm going to let you get a look at what is going on. Now, I can see the black smoke. It's difficult to capture on camera, but you saw that flash. This is what we have been dealing with all day. We've also been dealing with, I'm sorry, the power has just gone out. We've been dealing with power outages, uh, Wolf. But this feels like war. It may not have been declared, but it feels like war to the civilians who live here. The booms and smoke from targeted airstrikes from morning to night left more than a dozen people dead, including militants, women, and children. And in southern Israel, a window into what residents endured there when hundreds of rockets, shells, and mortars flew over from Gaza. Some were blown to bits by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. Others landed with deadly force. Three people died in this apartment building after a rocket struck it. This is the worst fighting Israel and Gaza residents have seen in four years. And if you listen to the government leaders from both sides of the border, life here may not return to normalcy for a while. No government would tolerate a situation where nearly a fifth of its people live under a constant barrage of rockets and missile fire. And Israel will not tolerate this situation. This is why uh, my government has instructed the Israeli Defense Forces to conduct surgical strikes. And that's not all. Israel's military said it was bringing in its reserves to prepare for the possibility of a ground war in Gaza. Hamas's deputy foreign minister told CNN his government won't back down in the face of a threat either. They should not uh, feel that this it is easy area that you can come and kill people and after that you go home. You should pay the price. You feel that if the people, people here are not safe, your people in, in Tel Aviv will, uh, will not be safe, people in Beersheba will not be safe, in Asdod will not be safe. And for the first time, Hamas managed to send a rocket into central Israel, to the outskirts of Tel Aviv, sending off sirens there. Israel's assassination of Hamas military commander Ahmad al-Jabri following a barrage of rocket attacks from militant groups inside Gaza, reignited yet another surge in warfare between the two neighbors. Now the question is, will a full-scale war be declared, or just the appearance of one? Sarah Seidner, CNN, Gaza City.